First of all, congratulations on the victory. Um, just what's your first reaction to the fight? How do you feel your performance went? I feel very good. I think I did a great job stuffing his takedowns and staying patient, calm, collected, and uh, yeah, I feel good. Your hands looked incredible tonight, they're really, really fast. Is that something you've been working on, particularly this training camp, or is that just something you've always got? Honestly, I just worked on everything, like every other fight. You try to prepare for an opponent, but you never know what kind of opponent is going to show up in the cage, you know? Maybe you expect a wrestler, but this guy is striking, improved so much in the last months, or the upper side, you know? So we really tr try to prepare for everything, for every bad situation, get in, in the uncomfortable, you know? But yes, I think I have some fast hands because we work a lot on striking, wrestling, everything. We cover everything. Is that even more the case in the coronavirus? Like you don't know what opponent you're going to get because half of them don't even make it to the cage, it seems, this time. Do you have to train just for yourself as opposed to for someone else? Yes, like this I learned from my coach, Firas Sahabi, my brother, Hijo, George St. Pierre. Every, just try to improve as much as you can. Don't, try, don't train just for a fight camp, you know. We are martial artists. We try to cover every base, improve as a fighter, technique. You never can learn enough, you know. For example, George St. Pierre, he went, he's retired, but this guy's training every day. He's trying to improve. And maybe one day he's going to come back. Or against Bisping, he came back after four years, but he was just in shape, you know. So we love the sport, and we just train every day, everything. And on fight day, it's, it's going to show. At the moment, we're seeing a lot of fighters fight really regularly, you know, because in these times, the UFC just need fighters all the time. Is that going to be you? Are you going to just stay ready, stay at the fighting weight, and just answer every time they make a call? Yes, always. But this time, I think I'm going to take a few months off, some family time. I'm going to take some, some care of some injuries. My hand, my both hands were injured, you know. I'm going to take care of this and uh, going to come back stronger. How, how severe injuries? What's wrong with your hands? Yeah, like small bone bruise every time. You take them from fight camp to fight camp, from training, training camp to training camp, you know, never stop. So I'm going to take a little, like, not like a long time off, like maybe a few months, a few weeks, just work on these uh, small injuries and get better, improve, and... Yeah, get back to the cage. Cool. Congrats, man. Thank you. And the hands, they just need time away. It's nothing that you need surgery or anything along those lines. You just need time away from hitting stuff, right? Exactly. Thank God nothing broken, nothing serious. Not even, I'm not going to take a break from fighting. Just from maybe from punching for a few weeks, do some conditioning, cardio, work on other things, and give my hands some rest. You know, those poor guys, they have, every fight I just try to hit the shit out of my opponents, and uh, I feel it, you know. Can you talk a little bit about that short grab uh, when your opponent kind of grabbed you and stopped you from uh, getting up? Did that throw you off a little bit? And uh, what what did your mind go through when, when that? Yeah, happened? when he grabbed my shot, I was like, "What the hell?" He just didn't stop. Like, and then he headbutt me a few things, you know. But it's a fight is a fight. Sometimes you poke somebody in the eye, you hit him in the, in the cup, you grab his shot. It's emotions, adrenaline. So I don't take. Uh, not gonna say why he's the unfair spot man, you know. I took the stage, hey, what the hell is, okay, just keep going, man. They don't stop the fight. Don't get surprised from anything, and uh, you just need to handle every, every adversity inside there. Speaking about handling adversity, it seems every time we see you get in there, you're more at ease. You're getting more comfortable. Maybe it's a mental thing. Can you, uh, are you feeling more comfortable with every fight that you get in there? Yeah, for sure. Like, today was my sixth UFC fight, especially after the Doba fight, you know. I've, usually, I'm a very calm, patient guy. You saw it against the AKC, against uh, Thibaut Guti, Joachim Silva. I'm just very collected against Drew Dober. It was a very immature, amateur mistake. I want to, to be honest, rip his head off, make a big statement. You know, I learned from it. I'm very young in the sport. My emotions, they overcame me. And today, I really want to make it clear what my real skill set is. And I, I think I showed it. And from fight to fight, of course, you get more calm. You get more experience. You know, you handle bad situations well. You get hit. You get more, like, just feel better, you know, from fight to fight. And you're definitely, you know, getting back on the, the, the winning path. Are there names ahead of that you've, you know, when you, before you took that first loss, that were names that you're already hoping that you would fight? And I'm sure by taking a loss, it kind of sets back a little bit. But who are the names of, the, of, the, of the, these people that you want to get in there and, and maybe test your skills against? Honestly, I don't have any names. I have the best team from management to coaches to, to, to big support. They know, they know what to do. The UFC, Sean Shabby, they, they know what to do. They know how to handle my career. My job is just to train get better, do a good performance, they're gonna send me an opponent, I get ready for him, I beat him, and uh, that's a journey, you know, it's not my job to choose opponents, it's not my job to be a matchmaker, something like this. You know, the people in the power, the people who have the knowledge, they, they're gonna know what to do with my career, and uh, yeah. Are you hoping to get another fight in 2020? And looking at 2021, how many times do you wanna get in there and fight? Yeah, for sure, uh, autumn, uh, autumn or winter, yes, for sure. Let's see, let's see what the future holds.